get my CDL, uh, the research that I did was basically every, I mean, the research that everybody did. I looked on YouTube. Um, uh, I'm not going to say no names because <laughs> when That's I cool. had my platform, nobody said my name. So That's cool. I looked on YouTube. I researched some people. Um, I got the information I needed, and, I, and it sounded good at the time. So I just went. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Locked out men back again. You know what I do. I come with another podcast interview for you guys today yes sir yes sir what's going on y'all see that nice little background right there so nice took me all day to put that together but um it is what it is man it is what it is that's how i do damn thing you know what i'm saying all right so today i'm bringing to you guys another podcast interview for today nice day today too this young lady comes by way of instagram i do believe she has a youtube page as well but we'll find out about that in a minute but i would like to bring to the show dangerous it's obvious what's going on there hi how are you I'm all right. I'm all right. How you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. All right. All right. So we just gonna we we just gonna jump right into it because you know you said in the green room you wasn't uh you wasn't feeling good today. So um, yeah, today I'm kind of a little under the weather, and I apologize about that. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, you, well, well wishes to you. Hopefully you, uh, hopefully you get a a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You get a little oh, bit better. Oh. All right. So, um, dangerous. Where where you from? T- tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I am from Palm Beach, Florida. Florida, Florida. Girl. Okay, okay. Down in Florida. What what's it like? What was it like growing up in Florida as a as a little dangerous? What was it like for yeah. me? It wasn't normal. I was a, I was the only girl with the house full of full of guys, three brothers and a dad who uh-huh. was who was tough as nails. Obviously you can see that through my my choice of industry. <laughs> um <laughs> You know, we, we were taught to work hard, strive for the best. Uh, he didn't look at me any different than he looked at a, at the boys. So, yeah, growing up in Palm Beach was kind of tough. But I don't know. I like it. I like my childhood. I had a pretty good childhood. You had you, you oh, had thanks. you you had uh, you had that good tough upbringing from both parents, though, right? Your your mother and your father. Absolutely, my my parents. Uh, were married for about thirty five years before they divorced. They they got divorced when I was when I was grown. <laughs> so yeah, I, I grew up with both of my parents. Uh, as as the only female, uh, as as the only female daughter, how how did that make you feel when when your parents divorced? Uh, you said you was grown, but did you still feel some kind of way? I felt like they they were too old <laughs> to get divorced. I mean, y'all y'all already <laughs> made it past the, the raising your children. So, I mean, I think it's something that they both deeply regret. My parents did not want to divorce. It 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 taught me a lesson. It taught me to keep people out of your business. That's, <laughs> That's what's what up. It taught me. That's what's up. That's what's up. I I agree wholeheartedly with that. I got a I got a small circle myself. You know what I'm saying? You keep that uh. You keep that circle small. You 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 keep that circle small. Mm-hmm. You keep a lot of a lot of people out of your business, and you know. Yeah, you want to keep it tight. You know, no opinions, no 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 unsolicited opinions. That's the thing. That's what's up. That's what's up. 
All right. So before you got into so before you got into trucking, man, what what would you what was um uh, what was your occupation before before trucking? Uh, what was what was my actual occupation? <laughs> well, uh, what you was doing before was, you got into truck? <laughs> um, I just I was a I worked at Best Buy. I was a floor person at Best Buy. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What was them discounts looking like? Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. What's what was them discounts looking like? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that great? You know, trucking is a lot better. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was a lot better. Oh man, I mean them discounts. I mean them discounts was was supposed to be good. You guys working at uh Best Buy? What are we talking like? Like thirty percent, uh, uh, ten percent. It can't be ten percent, right? I mean, you. I mean, I wasn't trying to spend. I don't. I don't even know because I was. I wasn't trying to spend out of my money back at Best Buy. <laughs> I was trying to get out of Best Buy. <laughs> you know, the, the part of the reason I got into trucking was to try to elevate myself. So mm -hmm. every everything I everything I earned, I tried to put into my career. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. What about uh? All right, so Best Buy. How how long you wrapped out at Best Buy, and what made you, uh, what made you get interested in the trucking? Um, uh, I was at Best Buy just as I had a lot of odd jobs during college. I mean, I I started the college route. I was supposed to finish computer programming school, but um. My parents, they got a divorce, and my mom kind of needed help. So I was kind of pushed into trucking. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I was about to ask you. How did you first become aware that you wanted to be a trucker, though? Um, One day, to be honest, and I'm a 100% I'm a straight-up person, one day I just got tired of getting evicted, you know, and um, and I was like, I was like, you know what? Who is who's the most successful person in my family? So I'll go down a line of people in my family, and they were my, they were my uncles. You know, they were truck drivers, and they never ever asked anyone for anything. In fact, everybody asked them for something. You know, mm -hmm. um, and then I, I just picked up the phone and said, I was like, uncles, help me! Like, let let me let me know what I need to do so I I can be self sufficient. Mm -hmm. And that phone call changed my life. I, before I know it, knew it, I was on the Greyhound to Prime Inc. Oh, okay, That's okay. How it started. Okay, okay. So you, uh, so you went to Prime. You, you, uh, you, you, uh, did you, did you do your research or, or anything like that? What, what made you decide to go with Prime? Now, did did you go there to get your CDLs or did you have your CDLs already? Now I went there to get my CDL, um, the research that I did was basically every, I mean, the research that everybody did, I looked on YouTube. Um, uh, I'm not going to say no names because <laughs> when that's I cool. had my platform, nobody said my name. So that's cool. I looked on YouTube, I researched some people. Um, I got the information I needed and, I, and it sounded good at the time. So I just went. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Which hurdles? Which which hurdles did you personally face, and how did you overcome them when you when you got to prime? Um, just I I face. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm the first woman to ever drive a truck because mm -hmm. that's a fault, and that could be kind of weird of me to say, but. It kind of felt like I was one of the first women to ever drive. I mean, how they were treating me. Um, it's a male dominated industry. So to see a woman driving, I got a lot of like shock value. I got a lot of like, oh my God, a woman is driving. It was so weird. Like I, I felt like an alien almost. <laughs> wow. What about, um, what about doing training? Like, uh, how, 
Well, not actual, not not the actual uh, getting your CDLs because I, getting your CDL story is probably like the same from everybody's story. You went in, you trifecta, you bam, bam, boom. How was the training there? What what was uh, what was the training there? You you rocked out with with the more training. Than... Oh, go ahead. The training was uh, it was. The training was great. It's it's actually it depends on the person. I uh, initially ended up with a trainer who was my age, and um, I just felt that he couldn't do anything for me. I wanted to learn from somebody who had a few years on him, you know. Right. So I went out there on my own, and I thank God. Like I was like, I remember the day. I remember the day that I wasn't learning anything from my trainer. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? This ain't, this ain't working for me. So I, I, I just like went out on the campus and was aimlessly looking for a trainer. And I ran into Alan Ross. Alan Ross of Prime Inc. He actually saved my life. Um, I, I begged him. I was like, look, I'm not learning. And they're going to send me home if I don't, if I don't pass the test. So you, you gotta, you gotta do something. So, <laughs> He took me under his wing. I, I stayed with him for like one and a half days. Like, and then he was, he was such an excellent, effective trainer that I just picked up on his skill and I passed the test the first time. So I'm grateful to Alan Ross. Well, shout out to, uh, hold on right quick. Shout out to, uh, Alan Ross. One of the, one of the few good trainers over there at Prime Inc. One of the one of the few good trainers over there, you you would say. Uh, that's the best trainer over there. Oh, uh, you to say be honest, and I he won't say that, but I'll say it for him. It's okay. You. <laughs> so you say that was the that, so that was the best trainer over there. So you so at the time, how how long you been in the game so far? Dangerous. Three years. All right. So back then, before Prime changed up there their policies and everything. How long you was out uh with the P what is the PSP and the T and T? How long altogether you was out before you got your own truck? Uh I did I I did like eight months over there and then I just I couldn't take the money and, and them taking out for the smallest charges and stuff. You know, crime, crime is a great school. It's a great start. And if you go there and you get your CDL, you'll get your training. That's what it's meant for. But as yeah, far but, as money, but no, there's money to be made outside of No, 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 no. I, I know that is true. I, I know that I, I, for for show for show, there's money to be to be made outside of a starter, uh, out, definitely outside, outside of a starter company. But what I was saying is, how long you was in the training phase? Like now I think you guys got to do oh. like five or 50,000 miles in order to quote unquote upgrade, I guess. But since you was with Prime three years ago, how long you was out with a trainer before you got, you know, before you got your own truck? Back then it was 30,000 miles. 30,000 miles. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. So you did 30. Yeah, we did then I was ready to get my own. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. So thirty thirty thousand so miles. Th and that was about three months, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Chicago BBW just chimed in right quick. Uh she just said, That's my girl from Florida. She wanna know what happened to your YouTube channel. Well, just to reflect back on what we said, um, you know, things happen in life where you 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 watch your parents get their situations messed up because of different unsolicited opinions. Mm -hmm. And me moving forward and you know marriage and all of that stuff, I just I just ain't need that type of stuff in my life. Oh, okay, okay. So you just pretty much left the left the YouTube alone. But you still, you of course, you still heavy on Instagram though, right? Because that's that's where I yeah, that's, that's I where I met you. <laughs> yeah, I upload on Instagram. 
No, okay, okay, okay. It's That's cool. You know, it's not. People, you can see their profile and they can see you and you know who you're talking to. So, so it's, exactly. You know what? That, you know, I'm I'm telling you, Instagram needs to step up their game, man. I'm for real. Instagram should just go ahead and just and just make it make it a video, uh, video thing so that uh so that it it could be better than uh it could be better than uh YouTube. You know, I still get, I exactly. still, I still give the middle fig, finger to YouTube. I mean, it's so much, it is so much freaking, uh, what, what's, what's the word? It's, it's so many words that I'm looking for for YouTube right now. It's fucking crazy. But, uh, <laughs> but, they uh, they don't even pin no more like that. Huh? <laughs> They're not even pin anymore like that. I know, right? I know. All right. So, <laughs> All right, so many people believe that trucking is a challenge to the point that it becomes overwhelming and too much to handle. Why do you think people believe that? Um, I don't know why people would leave it, but uh, I can see why some people would find it challenging. Um, trucking is challenging, the long hours, the dedication, the much time spent away from your family. Sometimes, I mean, even in the beginning, you don't even get paid that much, and you're and you're spending all this time away from your family. Some people can't even get over that hurdle, so that could be a big, you know, that's the turning point in a lot of people's careers. Is two years, okay. but it's it's definitely a challenging challenging industry if you don't pace yourself and have your goals aligned, but. I love it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, I'm in a position now where I could. I could stop, but I'm not gonna stop. All right, Chicago BBW chime back in. She says. Uh, she says she don't blame you for uh, for jumping off of YouTube like you did. She says she would definitely find you on Instagram. Yeah, she is on Instagram. Chicago BBW. It's dangerous. It's obvious. Definitely. Uh, definitely show her uh, show her some love, Jeremy Grizz. Thank you for the coffee, bro. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate that. Uh, back to back to what you was talking about as far as being with uh, being with uh, Prime. Now you said back then that you was only with Prime for like eight months, and the reason why you bounced out yeah. of there was why. Uh. I had goals. I mean, time just didn't align with what I had planned for myself. I, I needed money. They weren't paying. Is that simple? Okay, so I got, you know what? I got people, you, you know what? I got people that actually chiming in because, like I said, every time I mention Prime, I got... I, I got people that's chiming in all the time because they always say, hey, lock out me and talk about prime this and lock out me and talk about prime that. But I mean, these are real people that may or may not had, you know, that may or may not been there long enough, but this is their experience long enough for them. I got people that says that mo that there is money to be made over at Prime. A lot of them, a, a lot of them says that don't do the company jump on over to uh over to the lease i mean just about everybody just about <laughs> everybody over there that i talked to so far is like lease drivers so far so and i find it i find it comical i find it comical and i find money relative okay what might mean a lot for me isn't a lot for you mm -hmm. <laughs> so keep it over there that's why i'm not on youtube <laughs> uh jeremy Griggs said that prime leasing payments are fourteen hundred dollars a week that's why the owner is a billionaire a week okay that's that's just the lease not including not including all the other shit they say god come on be real mm. it's not it's better opportunity stop acting like it's heaven mm. it's not i got you all right so prime you did did did, did you did you say sayonara to prime in your way and what i mean is you just went down you you didn't give them their two weeks notice until you cleaned out your truck and then you called them up and say yo i'm out of here let me bring the truck back how how was it the way you you bounced up out of there i uh i i came home for about two weeks and 
Well, how I did it was every in training. In training, and how I did it was every time I would come home, every time I would like visit home or whatever, I would go try to look for jobs. Like I knew it wasn't a long term thing. So one time, one day I was just on home time and I got an interview and I landed a job and I just told Prime, "Look, um, y'all shit is already there. I'm not coming back." Mm -hmm. That's what's up. I would have to give you a horn for that one. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So, uh, so you, so you definitely good with 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 the current company you're at now. How how many companies you 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 came between? But uh, after you left Prime, is it the one you're at now, or you went through several? Or well, I only had I only been with two trucking companies as Prime and I'm not gonna mention the other one. Right. Um, I'm not with them anymore, but I just I'm not I'm I can't mention them. Uh, no um, doubt, no doubt. You don't have to. Um, I uh I actually started my own company, Milk and Honey Luxury Transport. You can oh. check us out at www.milkandhoneyluxurytransport. I'm I'm sorry, www.milkandhoney.safe. So, oh, okay, um, no, promote what, it again. Go go is, ahead. Promote, shout it out again. What is it? WW what? It's www.milkandhoney.biz. www.milkandhoney.biz. Dot safe. S T A C E. Okay, 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 okay. That's what's up. Milk and honey. Okay, milk and honey. All right, so this is so. Are you driving? Are you driving semi, or is this like, or is, is this car hauling, or is this uh, a hot shot? What, what, what type of company are you running? Hey, whatever the season needs. Hey, we we whatever wherever the money at this season. We had to dump. Last season we was in the car hauling. So wherever the money at. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So what? Okay, what my um. So with everything that you have learned, uh, you know, all from from every uh, nook and cranny, you decided to just say, fuck it. Let me go ahead and start my own shit and just and just be my own boss. How how long how long have you been? How long have you uh, been your own boss and how's everything working out for you now? Um, I've. I've been my own boss for shit, man, a few a few months, just a few months. Um, okay. about eight months. Okay. Not long. Okay. <laughs> it feels different, you know. Okay, that's what's but up. But that was always the goal. That that's that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, boss lady, dangerous. That's what's up. Uh, tell me, tell me something that people seem to misunderstood to be misunderstood about you. I don't know what people misunderstand about me. Okay. You tell me what, what you think people. I don't know. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. What about uh? What about this? What you know? Since you came into the game and you got help from uh from people that you knew that would give you help, who was the actual trucker that touched your heart and changed and changed your outlook on the industry? Um. Uh, it's so many to be honest. I can't say it was just one particular person. Like over the course of three years, I was able to meet so many wonderful people to sculpt my outlook on what it should be for me. You know, um, uh, like I said, Alan Ross was a big, big, big influential part of my success. Um, him changing his teaching to fit to fit how I learned. Like that's when people do shit like that, I just love them forever. Um, even the people who, even the people who told me I couldn't do it, I had people that told me I couldn't do it. I feel like they were instrument too, so I I love them and I respect them. Not um, I have nothing negative for anyone because of the place I'm in. Um, like like Prince said, if if you change one, if you remove the brick, the structure falls. So. Um, the foundation is what it is because of everybody and everybody who I've come across has taught me one thing or another thing 
to get me to here. So I appreciate everybody who knows me in this industry and who's, who's even had a conversation with me and took the time out to even notice me. So I appreciate that. That's what's up. That is what's up. All right, so I guess I guess I, I guess my last question for you before we uh get up out of here, man. Well, a couple of questions, but the last question that I got for you, like, uh, what what was the best compliment that you ever received, uh, in trucking out here? Um. <clears throat> The best compliment. Uh, when I came home and my husband was like, <laughs> I mean, he got me, he got me flowers and things. He was like, you work so hard. Just that acknowledgement, you know? That was it. <laughs> <laughs> how long, how long you been married, Dangerous? It, um, I don't want to talk about my marriage. I got you. That, that's but. cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, everybody. Dangerous. That's ob it's obvious. Yes, sir. Dangerous. I appreciate you coming on, chopping it up with me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what tips? What uh? What tips you got for uh, some of the new jacks? or new females that's uh that's interested in coming into this game what uh what tips you got for her or for them uh i, I would say try your best to get off the plantation um try your best to follow your goal set a goal figure out something you want like in the beginning i wanted to be like my dad and get into real estate so i wanted to want to get a house that was my goal. And and if you have a goal, it's really, really difficult for, for obstacles to throw you off of that goal. Be a pain freak about that goal. And go no matter what. That's it. All right. All right. Well, dangerous is obvious. Thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it. Hang on right quick. I'm about to go ahead and end the show. Uh... Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate you guys watching, listening, and all that good stuff. If you're interested in coming in and chopping it up with me on the Lockout Men podcast show, you can definitely do that. Hit me up in the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Gmail. I mean, Lockout Men Podcast at gmail.com. Also, you can see me over at Instagram. Instagram, come on now. Come on, Instagram. We, we need to knock YouTube off off they motherfucking pedestal right now. We need to knock them off, knock them down, knock them out. So come on. So if you guys see me over at Instagram, definitely hit me up over there. I got somebody to play me out. So while they doing that, I want you guys to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more content like this. The all button so that you can get it. You know what I'm saying? And also, if you like this, hook a brother up, man. I'm thirsty. Hook a brother up with some coffee, man. The Cash App uh, dollar sign lockout men is in the description. Hook me up with some coffee. Thank you, uh, Jeremy, for that uh, for that uh, coffee, man. I really do appreciate it. Um, also, if you, also thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And on that note, I'm about to get on up out of here. You guys take it easy, and I'm about to say. Peace.